it is uh, certainly disappointing uh, to play the way you did tonight, to come out to a game that uh, I think is so much to build up. We talked about in the rivalry game, and we come out here, and I thought we really had a good week of practice to come, to come out here and make some of the mistakes that we did as a football team with some of the uncontested deep balls that we gave up defensively uh, and some of the turnovers uh, that we had tonight were, were frustrating. You know, as a football coach coming out here, I felt like this was a game that we could be competitive in. I thought this was a game that we had an opportunity, a uh, great opportunity to maybe correct some things that went wrong earlier in the season or some of the close football games that we lost. Uh, we just we weren't able we weren't able to get it done as a football team. We came out here, I thought for the most part there were an awful lot of players that competed. But again, I, I thought that Bobby and Matt, those two young guys coming into a football game, competed hard, but I don't think we played very well around them. Uh, on the offensive side of the ball as far as receivers and making some plays and picking up some of that burden that we talked about that BJ were, some of that total yards that BJ was walking out with. Uh, and I thought on defense, our, our past secondary was, was poor. I thought it was poor. Uh, I just thought there was way too many uncontested uh, deep balls where the ball wasn't contested. It's one thing when the ball goes up uh, and they jump up over you, the catch the young man made in the fourth quarter, the diving catch down there on our sideline, uh, I'll take those. I'll, I'll give up those two balls. That was a great individual effort and a great play. But some of the other ones are just uncontested, totally uncalled for as a defense. What did you think you were Lord and Maxon? Why did you start with Bobby? I uh, started with Bobby. We said we were going to let the quarterbacks compete during the course of the week. Bobby clearly won the uh, competition during the week. I say clearly. I mean, it was like... Uh, did, had a higher completion percentage, put the ball in danger less, threw less interceptions, uh, had less accuracies, made better, I mean, better reads. Just we let him compete for two weeks uh, on the field. And one of the reasons that uh, I wanted those two both to compete and both to, to get ready like they were starting the game, uh, we made the decision earlier that we would play the quarterback that gave us the best chance to win. And statistically, and from a leadership and experience standpoint, we felt like that was Bobby Evel coming in. You know, uh, I know it's easy to second guess and look back, especially with what happened, and say it was wrong. I'm sick. Uh, I just absolutely hate it for Bobby. It's probably the worst case scenario you could have built when you made the decision. Not necessarily the win or the loss, but him getting injured in this game is probably the worst case scenario uh, that you could build. And unfortunately, it happened tonight. But as I told Bobby, we're not going to make this decision in hindsight. I think it's going to be easy for a lot of people to make it tonight uh, once the game is over and looking at how things unfolded. But we made the decision we felt gave this football team uh, the best opportunity to win coming in and the senior class. I just I hate how it worked out for everyone involved, especially especially Bobby. Uh, it's a left shoulder. Uh, I don't know at this point the magnitude, uh, the separation, one, two, or three, but it's a left shoulder. How much of a disruption was losing him at that point? Well, I mean, that's one of the reasons that I talked about both quarterbacks preparing for two weeks to get ready as the starter for this game. And Matt went in, and I thought, really, I thought outside of the one interception he threw when he hit the linebacker in the sternum, um, Outside of that one, I, I thought, you know, he threw the deep ball that was an interception down in the end zone. But outside of that, uh, I thought he showed courage. I thought he showed toughness. I thought he stood in the pocket. I thought he threw the ball very well. And honestly, I don't think that we got a whole lot of help. I don't think he got a whole lot of help at receiver tonight. You know, I mean, with his numbers being whatever they were, and I think uh, he got exactly what was thrown for because it's not like we broke a lot of tackles tonight, made extra yards, or went and made a circus catch one. I mean, most of that he earned.